Let us pray the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among us women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour, hour of our death. death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, and grace, grace in to our hearts, that, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, to her Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection. For the same Christ our Lord. Our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall be, be, world without end. end. Amen. Amen. We'll take a moment to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist with more reverence and with more holiness. And today we celebrate the great feast of the great two apostles, St. Simon and St. Jude. We shall intercede through them and ask the good Lord to hear and answer all our prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge all our sins. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And, and on earth, earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, Graciously grant through the intercession of saints Simon and Jude that the church may constantly grow by increase of the people who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, 
the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their, Their message, message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word to day, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their, Their message, message goes, goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. Their, their message, message goes out through all the earth. From the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus went up to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When day came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called the Zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Cariot, who became a traitor. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we know that we celebrate the great feast of St. Simon and Jude. St. Jude was also known as St. Jude of Thebes, a great saint whom people, a lot of people go to help, ask for his help always and at every time. And today we heard in the first reading that St. Paul was telling, we are all fellow citizens of the, of the Holy Ones. We also belong to the, that, uh, that, to the discipleship of Jesus Christ one way or another way. So when we offer this Holy Eucharist, we shall also ask the good Lord to help us to fulfill what are the duties and the responsibilities which are entrusted in our life as a disciple for him in this world to do it the best way so that we can also be to be walk together with Jesus Christ every day and ask his blessings to fulfill his duties and his responsibilities which are interested in us as a disciple always and at every time. bring all our special petitions on the altar of the Lord. We pray especially for Pope Francis, our Bishop Stephen, the entire Catholic Church, and our parish family. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all who are sick in our parish family and our own families. Let the good Lord touch them and heal them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all those who have passed away, both in our parish family and our own families. We pray for all the souls in purgatory and for those who do not have anyone to pray for them or remember them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
We bring the prayers and petitions of those who have asked for our prayers, especially when they are sick or lonely, and for all those who are traveling, and for the less fortunate. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are affected by the coronavirus, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us take a moment to bring our own special petitions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, full of mercy, love, and compassion, help us to follow your footsteps and to fulfill the responsibilities those who are interested us as a disciple for you on earth always. We bring all our prayers and petitions to you through the intercession of our Blessed Mother. Hail Mary, Mary full, full of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer you, fruit of the earth and work of the human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the wine and work of the human hands. It will become for us the spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash away all my iniquities, Lord, make me clean and pure. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we venerate the perpetual glory of the holy apostles Simon and Jude, O Lord, we ask that you receive our prayers and lead us to worthy celebration of the sacred mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on a apostolic foundation, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and to offer all humanity your heavenly teachings. Therefore now and for all ages unending, with all the hosts and angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in, in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion, he took bread gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, 
gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we oh, eat this bread and drink this cup, we, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring heart to the fullness of charity. Together with the Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, Baker, our retired Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also all our departed brothers and sisters and our parents who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her husband, Saint Joseph, with all the blessed apostles, Simon and Jude, and all the saints and martyrs who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to the eternal life. Praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teachings, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done. done on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed.
an act of spiritual communion. My, My Jesus, Jesus, I believe, believe that, that thou art truly present in the most holy sacrament. sacrament. I love thee above all things, and I desire to possess thee within my soul. Since I am unable now to receive thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace thee as being already there, and unite myself wholly to thee. Never permit me to be separated from thee. Amen. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Let me not be separated from thee. Defend me from the malignant enemy. At the hour of my death, Call me, and bid me come to thee, that with thy saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for priests. Jesus, eternal priest, protect all our priests, your servants, from all dangers, and keep them safe in your sacred heart. They are yours, and their life is offered in sacrifice at your altar. Keep them pure of heart. And sacrifice at your altar. Keep them pure of heart and a flame with the love of God and neighbor. Strengthen your priests by living constantly in them, with them, and through them, especially in times of loneliness and afflictions, and when their life of sacrifice seems meaningless. Bless all their labors with abundant fruit, and may they pursue it in their vocation until the end. Mary, our Blessed Mother, wrap them under your hand, and save them from all worldly distractions. May the souls to whom they minister be their joy and consolation in this world and in heaven their beautiful and everlasting crown. Amen. Mary, Queen of Greece, pray for us. Saint John Vianney, pray for us. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wiles and the wickedness of the devil. Restrain him, O God, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all of the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin and destruction of the souls. Amen. Let us pray. Having received this holy sacrament, O Lord, we humbly implore you in the Holy Spirit that what we do to honor the glorious passion of the Apostle Simon and Jude may keep us ever in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass ascended go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining with us. And Love you all. Thank you.